Hey YouTube, this is Robin Arts one here, and I'm here to review Gotham episode 13. Um, welcome back, Jim Gordon. Um, so, apologies for the lateness of this review. Um, I, I've had a really, really busy two weeks. Um, like, I haven't had time to sit down and actually make a review. Um, and I'm doing this quite literally from the very top of my head. Um, so apologies for the unprofessionalism of this video. Um, so basically what happens in this, in this episode is, um, Jim Gordon basically, um, has arrived back in, um, back at the GCPD um, and is basically, and basically is on a case which, um, leads him into a drug, um, a drug thing. Um, and this drug thing connects to Flas. Now, if you don't know who Flas is, um, the nearest example I can think of is Flash is, um, Flash is the guy who was Gordon's partner in Batman Begins. And basically Flash is this, um, really, like, really gruff, really, um, self-important character. Um, and he basically is very, very corrupt. Um, and basically Gordon is basically gunning for him. Um, we also have, um, the Riddler, um, trying to get his flame. Um, i.e. is trying to woo, um, the girl who is in love with Flas. And, um... Yeah. Um, we we'll also see Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne have an interaction as well. Um, again, apologies for the scatterness of the review. Um, I generally can't remember a lot about this episode. Um, but I remember a lot about next episode, though. Um... The stuff going on with Riddler. Oh, and also, um, Fish is tortured as well. Um, so let's start off with, um, the stuff go going on with Fish. Um, Fish is... Fish is clearly just reading from the events of the last episode. Um... And we really see, um, the blind support that Butch has for, um, for Fish. And we can, and we sort of, in recent episodes, have also seen that again. Fish is a leader. And we've seen that in the most recent episode, that, you know, Fish's type of how Fish is able to create loyalty amongst her peers. Um, and we also see that she is a... that deep down there is still a very caring person underneath this, um... this layer of cruelty and this, um, really interesting type character that there is still someone that you can relate to deep down there. Um, so that part of the episode was, was really interesting. Um, the, the stuff going on with Riddler, again, the stuff going on with Riddler isn't being developed. Um, it, in fact, most of the stuff happening with, with Riddler is just, um... 
it's just been very slow. Um, you know, it's slow building. My like, Riddler is going to be clearly a character who um, is going to be like a, a good guy until until at some point there becomes a point where the Riddler is not a good guy anymore. And and his relationship with um, this woman that Flash is um, dating, I think, um, is quite interesting. And she does have this sort of sinister type, type motive to her. So I am wondering how much of that is going to factor in with what's going on. Sorry for the background noise, um, might be a bit too loud. Um, and then we have the stuff going on with Vlas, and it really just concludes, um, that corruption in, in, in the GCPD, um, which was a nice little end, and it sort of implied that there might still be some corruption, but Gordon's managed to do something good um, in the GCPD. Um, guys, all in all, it was an it was a good slash okay episode. Um, I think it was a forgettable episode, if I'm honest. I don't remember vividly what happened, so it kind of was a bit forgettable, in my opinion. It's certainly by no means an important episode. Um, so stay tuned for my next episode, which is 14 and 15, because I'll be reviewing the, the uh, Dr. Crane Scarecrow arc. So stay tuned for that. Bye.